In this video, we are going to turn this chunk of titanium into this titanium skull using this 4-axis CNC machine. So this is ultimately going to be the top of the skull. So what we've done is we've just clamped the bottom. We've roughed that away so that we can clamp onto that and machine what will be the underside of the skull. Then for the second op, we tighten the part in the fixture or the torque wrench to 20 foot pounds. Now most of the second operation is just creating the pocket to fit the skull OP3 fixture here. Now it's a very critical fit, so as you can see in the machining, we're doing roughing, another few skim passes again, just to ensure the tolerances are dead on for fitting to the OP3 fixture. We attach the skull to the OP3 fixture with two fairly long M6 bolts. Actually serves a double purpose. Not only is it used for giving a very solid fixing onto the OP3 fixture, we can potentially attach it to something. Now as you can see, I am really speeding up the rest of this machining. It takes a long time. This is the last time we're going to be able to get access to the underside of it. So we've got to do everything we can on the underside of the skull right now.
this chunk of titanium is really starting to look like a skull now. So far, we are at 63 and a half minutes total machining time, 20 different operations so far, 13 different tools just to get to this stage. This is sort of a pre-finish. We'll be doing the finishing next. We're going to do the eyes now, get those all finished off and looking good. And the nose probably at the same time too. Okay, so answer in the comments. Machinists will know this. Why did we go halfway down and now we're gonna come up from the bottom instead of just going all the way down or all the way up? Tragically, this skull costs more than my car. <laughs> 